Well, students, we're gonna keep working on these, ab uh, these realistic trees from observation. Um, if you have not finished with marker, I would like you to finish tracing out anything that you need to trace. If it's your branches or your leaves or your sun clouds, any of these grasses and things that are down here, bushes. When that's done, I would like you to do any erasing. If you see any pencil marks, you can just erase those out. And then I would like you to start with the um, with the trunk and the branches first. So I've already gotten a start on that. I'm finding, I found a color that kind of matches that. I'm gonna do all of my branches first, as well as the trunk of my tree. And that makes it so I'm not gonna end up covering them up when I do my leaves. So get the trunk and branches done. I'm gonna start with the lightest color and then I'm gonna gradually work darker. Um, once I'm done with one, please put it back. I see that there's kind of like this golden color in here. I didn't use this last time, so I'm gonna add that to it. I'm pressing the color on pretty hard as well. Let me get all the way out here. And then we'll see what other colors I might see. I might see some of this brown in there some of that in here. I see this side of the tree, the left side of the tree is darker and it looks like the right side is lighter probably because the sun is over here. Then I'm gonna switch it to an even darker brown. So just use one and put it back in the box. They don't fall on the floor. Once I have my branches done, then I'm gonna start with my leaves. Now, if you, were gonna, if you were doing the fall tree, you'd probably use some orange, some yellow orange, um, some of these even, that golden color there, red orange. Um, for this green tree, I'm gonna be using a lot of these green. So I see this, I'm gonna come through here, just like I did with the branches, I'm gonna start with my lightest color and I'll gradually get a little bit darker. It's nice to kind of just start with one color. And then once I do that color everywhere that I need to do it, then I'll do my next color. So we'll get all these done. You can see that I'm going around the branches. I'm not covering up all that hard work that I did before. Now, once this color is done, then Let's add maybe a little bit of this minty green in here. I can see some areas where the sky is still poking through, like right in here, so I'm not gonna color all that. That's gonna end up being a little bit of a blue color. So we'll fill this in. Kinda using a little bit of a looping line to make those leaves just look a little bit fluffier. Still going around my branches. Then once I use these greens, I do see a lot of these darker greens in here too. So let's switch over here then to a darker green. I'm getting a loop line in here, going in that around my branches too. Come up here, get all of those shapes done. Now, after I have my tree done, then you can move into working on your background. I probably should do a little more mixing. I do see some even darker greens like this one or that one that I could add. Maybe I'll add that after. So here, give that a little bit of color. And now that I have most of my leaves done, I can move over and I can start working on my background. I see that this horizon line, oh, it looks like it's even darker than that. So let's switch to this one. Let's see if this one matches better. I could do a mix too. But I'm gonna start working here. I'm just gonna color half of it just so this goes a little bit faster for the example. But I'm gonna find colors that match in the background. I would do this side too. We'll just work on this corner here. I see while I have this in my hand, a lot of these bushes are this really forest green color. So I'd be working with those too. Then, 
Once I do those, probably start working on the branches and stuff that are on these trees. Continuing to do some mixing of colors. The grass here that is on this looks to me a lot like this color, but then there's kind of like a golden color in here too. So I'm gonna add some of this to it, but I'm not gonna color it all that color. You can see I'm kind of going up and down with kind of a zigzag motion. I'm gonna start using some of this. I see this color kind of matches that. So check the colors, see what you think looks the most real, since this is all about observation. Go around in here too. So let's just pretend that I did all of the land on both sides. When that's done, if you do have um, clouds to color, I would color those in. And I'm working up here, just like I did. I'm just pretending that I did the other side. Um, I'm gonna use kind of a yellow and a golden color to do my sun, to do a mix on this too. So we'll do kind of a bright yellow on the outside and we'll do this yellow orange color on the inside here. Now for the sky, I'm gonna stick with a blue sky and I'm gonna go with this really light blue, but you could use any of these blues. One of the things that I see is, is if I go around here, some of the blue sky is in between these branches. So don't forget to fill in those spaces where you might see the blue sky poking through. And I'm gonna fill that in, gonna kinda go around this. And I'm gonna go around my horizon line, go around my clouds, and I'm just gonna use a side to side motion to make the sky look pretty even. And I would continue that around my clouds and around my sun on both sides. So we do that over here too. If that gets done, then I could pick a different blue. I could add a little bit of another blue color to it or sometimes I'll come back I want this to be a pretty bright blue for my sky. So I'm gonna even this out a little bit. Then I might add a little bit of, of white to it just to make that blend together and look a little bit smoother. Now this one has much more done on it. So you can see that I added, I did do both sides. I've got a lot of the same colors that I used. If you were doing this one, um, you can see that I tried to find a lot of colors that I might see behind here. It's not just all black. I used some, I started with my lightest color, which I saw kind of some of these colors in those rocks. And I did that first. Then I did some of this color and I went side to side. Some of it I did go up and down to give that texture of those rocks that are behind there. I see some green in there, so I used some of this really dark forest green. And I put that in there too. And then I saw this, this looks like black. It's really blue. It's a really dark midnight blue. I put that in there. And then the last color I did was black, which is this one over here. So try to think about what colors you would use and I would color the tree first, but I just wanted to show the background because this um, that space in there has a lot of beautiful colors that you could try to make look real. Um, and then when that's done, a lot of this is kind of these sandy colors that I would color. This one, you can see that I did lots of different colors of reds and oranges. I used this color for the leaves and for the grass. I used this red-orange color. I used that golden color, and then um, I, yeah, I used all of these reds and goldens and oranges, and I used a lot of brown to create the shadow that was under the tree. So don't forget to get this shadow space under here. And then 
with the sky, I wanted to have kind of these oranges with a cooler blue sky. So I used the same as before with the um, light blue and then that sky blue and then I added a little bit of white to it. So um, next week we will probably work on these a little bit more um, just to make sure that we can get done. I want you to color as much as you can. Tree first, then you can work on the land. Sky would be the last thing we work on.